hi and welcome to Python tutorial this uh, simple graphic I've just finished developing using canvas so I just feel I should share it with you guys so I'm gonna close this and we we'll put one together and you guys see how I've managed to combine vertical lines and horizontal line to achieve that so let's go to file new project now that the form is open i'm going to start by importing as follows okay let's import the following to kinta okay, import all okay now i'm just going to call that root equals tk enter my parentheses there then Let's go for my title. The title will be as follows. I'm just going to call it graphic. That's the title. This should be okay. That's the title right there. Then the next thing I would do is to define my canvas so that's the canvas widget now and the canvas is a child of the root and let's define the width the width of my system or interface is uh, 1350 and let's to find the height as well I'm gonna make that approximately 800 that's the height now what about the background color the choice is yours you can always make it let's say I decide to go for something white then you now have to pack canvas dot there now I will use a for loop for let's say I in range let's make that 36 enter a, col a column there this is going to be for my for the vertical lines anyway so there's just a vertical lines yeah now that is high and let me say x equals 50 and what I'm talking about when I say x I'm actually talking about the x and y axis equals 50 plus I multiply by 40 this will define the okay the size of each cell then let's say the canvas dot create now I want you to create a line underscore line so that's what I want the canvas to do now X equals let's say X let's enter all of the enter all of my properties in there this the first argument is 50 I'm actually specifying the size of the the space between each line that will be 50 then I want it to to go vertically all right then let's go for minus 850 that is how I want it to the line drawn then here let me go for the width the width of this very line that will be let's say it's four when we look at all these arguments I have one two three four five arguments so let's just go you know, now run this up and we'll just give this a try and you guys see what I'm talking about so I'll save it as just graphic 
copy that go to file save as we'll save it right there on my desktop and let's run it and you see what I'm talking about all right you see that so that just draw lines vertical lines okay so to get the horizontal bit I can just copy all of that paste that in there change this to Y axis it's supposed to be change that Y axis and let's change this to 24 36 would be too much really and let's just change this to 100 and all of this this X axis I'm going to change that to 1600 and this will become minus y axis y this as the spacing will be around 10 and let's change this to minus y axis and that's all there is to it so if I run it let's run save it first and right there okay let's see close that let's see what I've done wrong okay here this is supposed to be minus there okay so let's minus that from that and right there guys and that's how you develop your own simple graphics and now look there's one other thing here right here I said white you can change that to red Control save and press F5 and there let's change the color again let's change it to maybe sky blue sky blue and run it right there guys okay just before I leave let me show you guys the lines of codes again from here okay make sure you import your Tikinta properties or libraries give it a name and get your canvas widget in define the size the width and the height and uh, specify the color make sure it's packed use a for loop for the horizontal one uh, for the vertical line and horizontal line as well there and that's all there is to it okay that's how you do or that's how you draw your own simple graphics so with that I'll call it the end of the tutorial bye for now